Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your BT Home Hub 5 as a just a standalone access point and Ethernet switch. Um, so yeah, because once these get upgraded, they just get a lot of people just chuck them in the bin. They just go to waste, really, because a lot of people it's like, well, once you don't have your broadband coming into it no more, it's like, what else are you meant to use it for? So yeah, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use it as like sort of a wi-fi extender i guess because you could have if you have your main bt hub or it doesn't you don't even have to use it with bt if you switch to another provider you can still use this hub because um say if it has better wi-fi or anything you can just use this one as well but say you have your main hub in the front of the house and have this on the other end and boom you have better wi-fi but one thing is you cannot use this as like a wi-fi extender because you have to use a hard wired ethernet cable for it to work if you do not want to run cables what you can do which is exactly what i'm doing is get a power line adapter so i've got one of these plugged into the main hub um downstairs and then there's this one in here so this cable goes into it and it comes out here so if you have good wiring in your house then um which ours is a fairly new build so it's basically just like getting um hardwired ethernet so yeah so i've got three ethernet cables here now um, this one is coming from the power line adapter, so this is going to the main router. Oh, that's falling back. This one's coming from my PC, and this one's going to my Xbox. So, as well as using this for Wi Fi for my room, I'm also using it to get more Ethernet ports. So, first thing you're going to want to do is just plug it in and don't plug any other cables into it, just wait for that light on the front to go orange. What you're gonna wanna do is just, the, you see, so you see down here, the little reset thing, just wanna get a pin, this is just a twisty tie and you can just push that in until you hear a click, hold it down and take it out and it will be fully reset, which means everything that's on the card there will be the same. Everything that's on here, on the card that it comes with, that's the details that you'll be using and then I'll show you how to change that as well. So yeah, you wanna wait till it's, orange again and that's flashing and then you don't want to plug in your internet cable yet what you want to do is have a pc or a laptop get an ethernet cable and just connect the hub to that and obviously you won't get internet using it yet but this is just so we can configure the settings you can do this wirelessly say if you don't have a pc but on certain settings that you change um it, you'll have to re-log in but if you have it over a hardwired ethernet it makes it a lot easier so yeah let's get on the pc so once you're on your pc phone laptop whatever it is you're using to control it oh just want to check that it's working there because it still says no internet here but that's but it is actually connected to the hub so you just want to open up your internet browser so once it's stopped trying to load you just want to go up here and type in 192.168.1.2 uh, it already come up here dot two five four so here it is here so um as i said at the beginning about resetting it you don't have to do that say if it's yours you know what all the details of it are so you won't have to reset it but say if you've um bought this off of someone else they might have changed the details so first thing you want to do is go to advanced settings and it's going to ask you for the admin password now that will be on the card so you can just type that in just go okay continue to advance settings so the first thing that i'm going to show you how to do is one of the most basic things which is just go to wireless and i'm just going to show you how to change the name of it so automatically 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz are on the same one they're synced together now, i'm not going to change it here sometimes i do i this was my grandparents one and i did actually have it set up so it was separate you may not want to change this actually you might not mind just having it as your bt hub 5 whatever it wants to come up have as, but if you've had this hub working in your house before, you definitely want to change this because a lot of devices might just automatically connect to it, which I suppose isn't a problem, but you want the majority of stuff connected to your main one, what can, so like some, if you have this in the other end of your house, and something that could be connected to the main one might automatically connect to this, so I'm just going to change this to Charlie, something basic like that, i just got to set up Charlie's room Wi-Fi, so... Yeah, see, like, if you're doing this on a phone or something wirelessly, as soon as you click apply here, 
it would stop working. And I'm not going to change the wireless key because I've entered that in on so many things, so many times getting this to work for my grandparents that I just remember it now. So yeah, then we can just go to settings and then you can see admin password. You can just change it from the one that's on the card if you want to. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to leave it as is. So another thing is you can go to advanced settings, continue, home network. So IP addresses, click on IP addresses. Now this is what we typed in to log into this BT Hub. Now for me, I'm just going to leave it like this. Now if you have another BT Hub in your house, change this because otherwise they'll both both the hubs will come up as this IP address to log into the manager. So if you have them both as the same one, it just confuses it and it won't work. So you can just change it to 55. But in this case, our main hub is a talk talk hub. So I'm just going to leave it as that. Now, there's a lot of stuff that we need to disable because obviously before this was doing the job as your router, modem and access point. But now it's just being an access point and an Ethernet switch. Well, it was an Ethernet switch before as well. So there's a lot of stuff that this used to do, but your other hub does as well. This this hub does not need to have it enabled because it will just cause lag because the other hub's already doing it and then this hub's doing it as well when this hub doesn't need to be doing it. So you can turn off DHCP server. Go to apply. Yes. Now you go to firewall, go to UPnP, turn that off as well. Now you go to configuration as well, disable that. This is just disabling the firewall. Don't don't panic about the firewall being disabled because your other hub has got the firewall on it. This one does not need to have that enabled. So once that's applied, we're done in this. So we can close out of this now. So now that it's been configured, all we've got to do is turn it off. And I'm going to unplug this. I'll plug it back in, but... I'm just going to get it working first. So this is your internet cable. So you need to plug, then you can plug the hub into your network. So that's now got internet coming into it. So normally you have to use one of these ethernet ports. You can't use the WAN port and turn it back on. And we'll wait for it to turn on. So now once it's been on for a while, it will still look like that. And you may think it's not working because it's orange and fashion instead of being blue like it was when it was connected straight in. That's just how it is when you have it connected up like this. So once it's like that, you can just plug in your Ethernet devices. If you have any, you don't have to, but it's just an added bonus that you get a gigabit Ethernet switch because it's gigabit. And it's got all the Ethernet ports that I need. So as you can see now, my PC has got internet. And also just to prove that the Wi-Fi on it is working, I've got my iPad here. So look, it's currently on the TalkTalk Talk one. So we've got Charlie's room Wi-Fi. And we're I'll enter in the password. This is just the default password. Boom. That's on. Let's wait for it to come up in the corner. Boom. And we've got four bars because we're right here. So on this here as well. Hey, it's all working. Ah, oh, and that's the hub that we're using. We we'll would not be doing anything like that to it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And comment any more videos you want to see. And I'll hope to see you in the next video. Bye.